Hi. I'm here to help with any first tech challenge questions you may have. What's on your mind? A maximum of 8, 8, DC motors are allowed on a robot, in any combination, as long as they are from the approved list of motors. The rule that states this is DC motors. DC motors also states that the only allowed DC motors are A Tetrix 12V DC motor B Antimark Neverest Series 12V DC motors C Modern Robotics Slash Matrix 12V DC motors D Rev Robotics HD Hex 12V DC motor E Rev Robotics Core Hex 12V DC motor no other DC motors are allowed. No, it is not allowed to set fire to an opponent's robot. This would violate the rule that a robot design must not damage or disable another robot. Yes, setting fire to an opponent's robot would also violate the rule that a robot design must not injure a participant or volunteer, as it could cause harm to people nearby. Additionally, it would likely be considered egregious behavior and could result in a yellow card or even a red card. Hello. It's nice to meet you. I'm here to help answer any questions you may have about first tech challenge. What would you like to know? According to the game manual 1 and game manual 2, as well as the Q&A thread answers, a robot is allowed to control or possess a maximum of 2, 2, pixels and one, one, drone at a time. According to the game manual 1 and game manual 2, a mosaic is defined as a cluster of three, three, non-white pixels scored on a backdrop. You are currently in the driver controlled period, which lasts for 2 minutes. Since you are 54 seconds into it, that means you have 2 minutes, 54 seconds equals 66 seconds left in the driver controlled period. The last 30 seconds of the driver controlled period is the end game. Therefore, the end game period will begin in 66 to 30 equals 36 seconds.